हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स एच क्यू दिस इज प्रोफेसर संदीप योर ट्यूटर फॉर द क्लास ट्वेल्थ सीरीज कंटिन्यूइंग विद द क्लास ट्वेल्थ लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यूज एंड सम्स टुडे विल बी कवरिंग टेक्स्ट बुक अनसॉल्व सम्स ऑफ चैप्टर 16 सेमीकंडक्टर डिवाइसेस लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट सम द कॉमन बेस डीसी करंट गेन ऑफ अ ट्रांजिस्टर इज 0.967 इफ द एमिटर करंट इज 10 मिली एंपियर व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बेस करंट so what they have given over here is alpha dc this is the common base dc current and the value is 0.967 second thing that they have given is emitter current which is 10 milli ampere and they have asked for what is the base current ka value so for solving this we'll go ahead with the formula for alpha dc nothing but the formula for common base dc gain okay gain is given as output upon input now since it is current gain it is output current upon input current so for a common base configuration the output current is at the collector terminal and the input current is at the emitter terminal so the diagram looks somewhat like this so in this diagram you all can see that there is this output current over here at the collector terminal which is ic there is this input current at the emitter terminal that is ie and then we have this base terminal giving the current ib and uh, when we rearrange this what we get is ic is equal to alpha dc into ie let us put the value we got 0.967 into 10 milli ampere milli will be written as 10 raised to minus 3 when we multiply this by 10 what we get is 9.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 this is value of ic this can be written as 9.67 milli ampere finally we are supposed to find the value of ib so we will be using the standard equation ie equal to ib plus ic so ib will be given as ie minus ic this is equal to 10 milli ampere which is 10 raised to minus 3 minus ic which we got as 9.67 milli is again 10 raised to minus 3 this will give us 10 minus 9.67 is 0.33 into 10 raised to minus 3 or we can write this as 0.33 milli ampere so this is the value of ib that we got hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next sum in a common base configuration a certain transistor has a emitter current of 10 milli ampere and collector current of 9.8 milli ampere calculate the value of base current so once again we'll be using the same formula from the last sum i is equal to ib plus ic emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current so base current will be emitter current Minus collector current. Emitter current is 10 milli ampere. 10 into 10 raised to minus 3. Minus collector current is 9.8. The ampere is 10 raised to minus 3. So we got 10 minus 9.8. We will take this 10 raised to minus 3 common. This will be 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 3. Or we can write this as 0.2 milli ampere. So this is the base current. Hope you all understood this. Let us go ahead to the next next sum. In a common base connection, the emitter current is 6.28 milli ampere and collector current is 6.2 milli ampere. Determine the common base DC current gain. So common base DC current gain is given by IC upon IE, where IC is collector current, which is given as 6.2 milli ampere is 10 raised to minus 3. and ie which is emitter current is 6.28 into 10 raised to minus 3 for milli ampere so these things will cancel out when you divide 6.2 by 6.28 you will get 0.987 as the common base dc current gain hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates as you all know based on your feedback and suggestions we'll be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topics you want us to cover see you all in the next class this is professor sandeep from physics hq signing off